Okay, so now we're ready to go ahead and start modifying our game so that it supports the actual full playability instead of just a single row. What that's going to involve is modifying our ship class and modifying our game class. The first thing we want to do is go ahead and add a couple new variables to our game class. We're going to have to have a way to keep track of all our ships. So we want to make a private array list that contains ship objects and we'll call it our list of ships and we'll set it equal to a new array list with ship as the parameter. The next thing we need to do is we need to move our number of guesses. Previously our number of guesses was inside main but that's not a very good way to practice object-oriented programming. Main should really only be starting the ball rolling. So I'm going to bring it out here and make it a private integer called number of guesses and set it equal to zero. The next thing I'm going to do, the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new method. It's going to be a private void method. Void meaning that the return type is null. There's not going to be anything that comes back from it. And it's going to be called setup game. And inside of setup game is where we're going to actually create our objects, give our instructions, and then place all of our ships. So I need to create three ship objects. So I'm going to say ship, and just for now I'm going to call them ship1 equals a new ship. And we're going to have to give them names. So I'm going to say ship one dot set name and we'll give it the name SS um, Enterprise <clears throat> and then what we're going to do next is we're going to repeat this for two more ships you could also just copy the pa copy and paste the code and then you just need to update it so it ships one two and three and you need to change them so they're not all the Enterprise. Let's have the SS Enterprise, the SS Nimitz, and the SS Bradley. Now I'm getting an error here because the set name method doesn't exist. So what I'm going to need to do is add that method. I can just directly come over here and add it, or I can hit Alt Enter, and it will create a method in ship for me. It's created a method here called set name. And right now, its string is SS Enterprise. Well, I'm going to change that to be name. And I'm going to remove this unsupported operation exception because I'm going to actually add code. I want to set this.name equal to the name that I pass it. And again, I get an error because there is no name property. So I need to Alt Enter and create a field called name. So now you see I have a name property, which means that the ship can indeed have its name set. Back in my game class, I no longer have errors because of that. So I can go on to the next part. I need to add all three of the ships that I just created to my list of ships. So I'm going to say list of ships dot add, and I'm going to add ship one. Then list of ships dot add, and I'm going to add ship two. And finally, I'm going to do list of ships dot add and I'm gonna add ship three so now I've created three ships I set their names and I place them all into my list of ships I need to print out some instructions that say your goal is to sync three ships Uh, if I want, I can go ahead and give them the name. I can say the SS Enter Prize, the SS Nimitz, and the SS Bradley. And then last thing I'll print out is try to sync them in the fewest guesses. All right, so now we've created our ships, we've added them to our list of ships, we've gone ahead and said what we need to print out for our instructions. The last thing is that for each ship, 
and we'll just call it ship in our list of ships. So that's for each ship that exists. Remember, this is an enhanced for loop. It goes over each object in there. We need to create an array list of strings called locations, or we can just call it location, and it's equal to our place ship method. And we have to pass it a size. In this case, um, we're going to assume all our ships are of size 3, but in the future, we could randomly generate a size to pass in there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish up by saying ship dot set location cells to that location that we get back from place ship. And that'll be it for this method. This is our setup game method. So right here, place ship has an error. We'll fix that in a little bit, but that's it for setting up the game.